Message from General Pepper. Priority one. We need your help, Star Fox. Andros has declared war. He's invaded the Lilac system and is trying to take over Corneria. Our army alone can't do the job. Hurry, Star Fox. Greetings, YouTube. Joe here with Colonation Media. And welcome to episode number one of Star Fox 64. And uh, we are being introduced to the characters right here. The very annoying Slippy Toad. The awesome peppy hair. And of course, the cool as can be Falco Lombardi, our trusty partner. And the main character, who we will be playing, Fox McCloud. This game is for the N64. And we're just watching the, watching the uh, opening scene here. Oh, yes, oh look. We're ready to go in our R-Wings and everything. This game is amazing. Like, it is, I don't know. I've, I swear I've beaten it probably like 500 times. And I'm not exaggerating with that either. I beat this uh, sometimes like seven or eight times a day when I was a kid because um, I loved it that much. And it's also such a very, very short game. And that's why I'm doing it on my channel right now because I have a bunch of long games going. Uh, so to freshen things up and, you know, keep things uh, with a little bit more variety rather than just the same games constantly, I'm going to throw in some smaller games here and there. And the first one is Star Fox 64. Let's watch this cutscene. The, system. the evil Andros turned this once thriving system into a wasteland of near extinction. General Pepper of the Cornerian Army was successful in exiling this maniacal scientist to the barren, deserted planet Venom. Five years later, General Pepper noticed strange activity coming from Venom. James McCloud, Pigma Dangar, and Peppy Hare of the Star Fox team were sent to investigate. Upon their arrival, Pigma betrayed the team, and James and Peppy were captured by Andros. Peppy barely escaped Venom and returned home to tell James' son, Fox, about his father's fate. A few years have passed. Andros has again invaded the Lilat system. General Pepper has turned to a new Star Fox team headed by Fox McCloud to save Corneria and free the Lilat system once again. All right, well, there you have it. That's pretty much uh, all of the background story that you're going to need. So Andros is the main bad guy. And uh, yeah, he killed our father and we're pretty much out for revenge here as well as defending the Lilat system, which you can see on the screen right now. And um, we start all the way on the left on the planet of Corneria, and then there's a bunch of different paths that you can take throughout the game. It's about time you showed up, Fox. You're the only hope for our world. Oh no, we're the only hope. I'll do my best. Andros won't have his way with me. Nope. No, sir. Okay, so this is mission number one. There's always seven missions um, for this storyline, and you want to repeat it a couple of times and go through it because there's different paths to take, and there's only certain ways to get to certain planets and certain levels. So I'm going to be showing all that stuff. Open the wing. And uh, there's going to be some back and forth, you know, because I'll go back to uh, some of the earlier levels, especially like this one here. There's two paths that you can take. Uh, there's the regular one, and that'll lead us into the asteroid belt. And then there's another one that leads us over to the Y sector, or sector Y, I guess. And uh, I'll be going into that one a little bit later. Now, for this episode, we're going to just do uh, the first level normally and get used to everything and uh, move on over to the asteroid belt, which is the uh, natural progression. And all that good stuff. Oh, my God, I'm so excited. I love this game. Oh, man, the guys, uh, the characters are, like, so blocky. Like, this, this game came out in 1997, I want to say. So this is even older than the ocarina. Okay, so the A button is what fires, you shoot a bunch of lasers and stuff. If you hold down the A button, that charges up and you can uh, lock on the enemies. And the explosion will also blow up uh, any nearby enemies. If you pick up those little laser upgrades and with the L's, uh, then you get double lasers and then after that you can get hyper lasers if you get another laser upgrade in the level. All right, yeah. You guys are going down. Oh, crap. Okay. Still getting used to the controls. Forgive me, just slamming into the walls. Okay, those silver rings are what is going to 
um, give you shield, I guess, health back. In the top left-hand corner, that shows your shield, and when you hit stuff, that'll go down. The gold ones, as you can see in the top left as well, once you get three of them, um, your shield gauge will increase in size, so you can have, like, double the amount of health. And, um, obviously you're not going to get all the power-ups in every level, because there's just too many of them. Um, okay, so he's telling us to use the brake there, so if you slow down, the enemies that are behind you will keep going just as fast, and zoom past you, you get a good shot at them. And yeah, you pretty much get thrown right into the craziness right from the beginning because there's all kinds of crazy crap going on. Did I just shoot Falco? Yeah, I almost killed him. Holy crap. Sorry, Falco! Ugh. Okay, so a lot of times your teammates are going to ask for help. So we're going to boost up a little bit and blow up the guys that were chasing Falco and then almost kill him again. I need to stop shooting my teammates. I'm just trying to lose. On the left, you'll see bombs. You release those by pressing the B button. Um, and I don't really feel like using the bombs right now, so I wanted to get the laser power up. As you can see, now they're blue, my lasers. And that's the hyper uh, lasers that I was talking about earlier, which are freaking awesome because you can shoot them so fast and they do a lot of damage. These arches do actually serve a purpose for getting the sector Y, and I'm going to, ex going to uh, explain that the next time that we're back here, but for now, I'm just going to pretty much ignore them and not worry about it. Might as well just get that golden ring. Did not mean to do that. Apparently that's how you uh, do a little somersault. Oh well. Yes, I just did that and it didn't work out so well for me there. There's another laser power up that I don't need, but I might as well just get it. Why not? And as you can see, my uh, shield gauge has been doubled because I got the golden rings. And what do we have here? All range mode. This is pretty interesting. Now you're not going to be just like going straight forward. You get to have pretty much access to everything. And you can fly around. What you want to do for this boss here. Oh, oh, stop telling me you're going to crush me. I'm going to crush you. Shoot his legs. That's the easiest way to knock this boss down. If you blow up one of his legs like that, he'll fall over and he won't be able to attack you as well. There's the boss gauge on the left there. And once he's down... You can shoot bombs at him. He's pretty much a sitting duck, so... You know, if you get some range and come straight at him, you can get a lot of hits on him. Although it is kind of hard to aim. Blew up the other leg. And, yeah, you're about to die, my friend. You're about to die. Where are you? Where'd you go? Did I fly... Oh, I just didn't do a very good circle there. I'm not a worm. I'm a fox. Leave me alone, man. Alright, so you just need to shoot him in that green area. Yeah, you failed. And a dramatic explosion ends the level. And that is it for Corneria. And like I said, we will be back uh, to go to Sector Y next time. All aircrafts report. Nobody died. Yeah, your teammates can actually die. You don't want that to happen because then they'll be gone uh, for at least a level while they get repairs. So, be careful, make sure you defend your uh, teammates, and don't shoot them like I did. Like, I probably did all the damage that Falco got, which is kind of sad, but that's alright. Okay, well now we're going to be moving on uh, to the next level, which is... I forget the name of it, is it Meteo or something like that? It's the Asteroid Belt. I forget the actual name of the area. And as you can see... Um, we're going to be in that asteroid belt area, and then moving on to the planet after that. But that'll be the next episode. Meteo, that's what it's called. Of course not. Fox McCloud doesn't let anyone down. Because he's amazing. Alright, all our team members are intact here, and so we begin. Okay, so these asteroids can hurt you, obviously, if you fly into them just as anything else. Um, but the cool thing is that you can destroy them, so... And you get the hits going up in the uh, top left-hand corner when you destroy them, so... I yeah, know, Peppy, shut up. So you want to blow them up. Sometimes there's stuff inside, uh, like golden rings or whatever. Yay, I got three. It's quiet. Too quiet. Yes, it's too quiet, Peppy. Oh, stop talking. Oh, my gosh. Oh crap, oh crap, oh god, I hate these things. Yeah, I, I don't know if you can even lock onto them, but I just didn't do a good job there. 
I like to hold down the A button when I'm coming up on things like these giant ass worms because uh, when they come within range you can then lock onto them and get an easy shot off. And I think I killed one of them. Killed the second one. Hell yeah. Now I'm not going to somersault Peppy. Leave me alone. I like to go for the golden rings wherever possible because that's what's going to give you more health. And bombs are pretty much available everywhere. So, And I don't use them as much. So I'm not as worried about that. These ones. These big asteroids. Yeah, I can make it. But uh, yeah, you can't destroy them. So don't waste your time trying to blow them up with stuff. Instead, focus on getting out without getting hit. You do need to boost to get through that one without dying. Oh, those are bad guys. Oh, crap. And we have our trusty friend, Rob, who will send us supplies from time to time in the form of these boxes right here. And he'll give you, like, lasers and bombs. Get off of my tail, you bastards! Who do you think you are? There you are. Die. Die. And a lot of the enemies will like go off and on the screen and just are so annoying, but I got them. I never really did care for this level so much. You're welcome, Peppy. Hells yeah. So this game uh, is only going to take probably about 10 episodes is what I'm thinking to show just about everything that you can do. Maybe a little bit more, but uh, it's such a, sh bleh, such a short, short game. Uh, it's still freaking awesome. But I thought it would be a nice little uh, change of pace um, from the usual Zelda and Pokemon stuff. Get uh, just a couple of episodes of Star Fox 64 in there. And for those of you that are all like, the DS version is so much better because it's a remake, you need to grow up. This is the best game ever. And the remake cannot even stand up to this game whatsoever. Oh, shut up, Falco. I'm not thankful for you. I'm not thankful for you at all. In fact, I try to shoot you a lot of the times. Okay, this thing is really annoying because it shoots rainbow bubbles at you. And yeah, you can't lock onto it, so you just need to have really good aim, which most of the time I don't because this thing uh, is really touchy. You want a piece of me? Everyone wants a piece of you, Slippy. Everyone wants to kill you, and I don't blame them. And... Gotcha. Oh, shut up, Slippy. You didn't do anything. Honestly, like, I killed everyone that was on your tail. You're taking credit for it, you asshole. How did I miss that? Oh, thank you for the basic controls. Uh, you can go to another level by getting all of these warp points. Um, and I'm not going to get the last one because... Oh, I missed it anyway. But, um... I wanted to show the end of this level first. Um, and I believe you can get to the other level from a different area. I'm thinking I'm going to double check on that. But, so I don't think I need to necessarily show that warp point. But if you do want to go the second path, get those uh, little warp panel thingies. We should be coming up on the boss shortly here. And here we go. It's a monkey, as usual. Pretty much all the bad guys are monkeys. And he's going to come attack you with this big giant ass ship with a spinning shield majigger and you're gonna be looking for yellow diamonds to shoot at there it is or I guess they're triangles so yep it's going every time it moves there's four of them you need to basically blow it up before it shoots you with those uh, green lasers once you get all four the shield comes off and we're gonna move on to stage number two how about this how about you shut up you crazy ass monkey and again, you're going to be looking for the yellow triangles, which is actually right there. Now you can see it. It's behind where the laser thingies come out. Oh, God, that hurts. And, oh, I have such bad aim sometimes. There we go. We got it. Once he stops shooting that, we'll move into phase number three. I'm no match for you. That's right. You're no match for me. You suck. I admit defeat. Yeah, yeah, you better. Actually, I don't want you to admit defeat. I want to blow up the freaking ship. No, I'm not going to listen to the monkey. Oh, that was just not very nice. Well, you just need to destroy the uh, yellow rectangles. Basically, anything yellow is what you shoot at. And once you blow both of them up... Oh, yeah. Oh, Fox, you jokester. 
Well, yep, he explodes in a massive, massive explosion. And uh, that marks the end of this level. Mission number two complete. And I don't think I lost any members of my team. Slippy's all good. I wish Slippy would die more often, honestly. Yeah, you're okay, Peppy. We're all good. What about Falco? I did. Nobody died. That's why we're all here. Yeah, 139 enemies down. So we did pretty good. If I do say so myself. And now we're going to be moving on. Out of the asteroid belt. And over to... What is the name of this? Is this Fortuna? I want to say Fortuna. Yes, that's Fortuna. As uh, indicated by the initials there. But I'm going to stop here. In the next episode, we'll pick this right up again at Fortuna. But thank you very much for watching. And stay tuned for episode number two. Game on.